Universal blood type organs have been created in a groundbreaking procedure, possibly making transplants available for all patients. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe to get the latest information. We're going to show you some video here that some might find a little tough to watch, but there's nothing that's too graphic. Researchers from University Health Network in Toronto have proven that it's possible to convert the blood type of an organ, creating a universal organ that would avoid rejection during transplants. This procedure, conducted at the Latner Thoracic Surgery Research Laboratories and UHN's Amjera Transplant Center, changed the lungs from a donor with type A blood into an organ with type O blood. Scientists consider type O the universal donor type. The breakthrough may significantly cut down on the disparity of organ transplant availability and shorten transplant waiting lists worldwide. Researchers say that doctors could then prioritize patients by medical urgency rather than by blood type first. Here's a quick primer on why blood type is so important. A person's blood type is dependent upon the antigen sitting on the surface of their red blood cells. People with type A blood have A antigens on their cells, while type B has B antigens and type AB have both. People with type O blood, however, have no antigens on the surface of their cells. The reason this is important is because these antigens trigger an immune response if they are foreign to a person's body. This is also why patients needing a blood transfusion can only receive blood from donors with the same blood type or from universal type O donors. The problem also complicates organ donations because these antigens are on a person's organs as well. The wait for the perfect organ can last several years. In fact, type O patients often have the longest wait for a lung transplant, leading to a 20% higher mortality rate. If all organs are converted to universal type O, that barrier is eliminated completely. During the experiment, study authors treated one lung with a group of enzymes to flush out the A antigens, while leaving the other lung untreated. From there, they tested the conversion by adding type O blood with large concentrations of A antibodies. This simulated the conditions of an ABO incompatible transplant. Results show that the treated lung was well tolerated, meaning the lung would likely be safe from rejection if the team placed it in a human patient. Meanwhile, the untreated lungs showed signs of rejection, meaning such a transplant in a human would likely fail. A group of gut enzymes found in 2018 were key in creating the universal organs. The research team used ex vivo lung perfusion to pump nourishing fluids through human donor lungs and to deliver the antigen-changing enzymes. Check out the link in the description below for a lot more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.